Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Shelby Chipman. I currently serve as the Director of Bands here at Florida a University in Tallahassee, Florida. Prior to that, I was Director of Bands at Miami American High School for one year, and of course, I was Director of Bands at Miami Central High School for nine years in the Miami-Dade County Public School System. And it's been my honor to serve on the staff here at uh, Florida a University. Now this going into my 34th year of teaching in the state of Florida. And of course, uh, the incomparable Marching 100, as we all know, is one of the most outstanding marching bands and symphonic bands in the country. The Florida and University Summer Band Camp is now in its 28th year of existence. This 28-year program, of course, was started by the legendary Dr. William Patrick Foster, Dr. Julian E. White, and so many others that contributed to the, the success of this program. We've had over 600 students to participate in the camp. We initially started, there were 80 students. And this year, we're very fortunate and blessed to have 360 students from around the country. These students are represented from the states of California, Michigan, Arizona, Indiana, South Carolina, Georgia, and of course, a host of students from the state of Florida. We're mindful that these students, when they come to Florida and in university, have an opportunity to not only participate in a large marching band, but also this year we incorporated three symphonic bands, of course, we had our jazz band program that is directed by Mr. Robert Griffin, and also the students participated in master class sessions with not only our faculty and staff here on campus, but some of the outstanding visiting high school and middle school directors. These students also were part of our leadership program that focused on developing their student skills so that when they return to their schools, they'll be even more accomplished and ready to help improve their various sections. And then when they return to their schools, we hope they'll be better people. Not just the musicianship, not just the marching and the dancing, but being able to treat people with respect, understanding the relationship of uh, the rehearsals and how you should uh, utilize your time and how you should utilize your time during your section of rehearsals with, uh, when you return to your schools and create better band programs as it relates to so selecting music, implementing that music, making sure there's a place for everybody within their band programs and just being good people of order. And we know that as these students return to their schools and they implement these kinds of things, they will continue to build better programs. And you'll hear some of the testimonies as a part of this particular initiative that I'm sure that you guys are going to enjoy. And I thank each and every one of you for your continued support of our band program and our university. Looking back over band camp, it's really an incredible experience from both the campers in and the counselors in. As a counselor for me, myself, uh, one of the most important things and most rewarding things is seeing the growth and development of the students throughout the week. Um, you, they come in, of course, we have everything from middle school through high schoolers, and being able to teach them just some of the small things that we do in the 100, teaching them the ways of the 100, um, it's really incredible to see how they learn and grasp onto this stuff really quick. Um, but the most rewarding part of it all is seeing that true growth and development from the beginning of the week to their performance at the end of the week. From Oceanside, California. Uh, I'm a rising senior going to El Camino High School, also in Oceanside, California. And I flew out away uh, from there to come to FAMU. And the uh, reason why I came out here is because, well, last year I came to uh, the, the band camp last year and I had a lot of fun, so I decided to come back again. But um, before that, my mom, she was a big uh, influence into how I got introduced to FAMU. Uh, when I was younger, she introduced me into uh, music and instruments, and so I just kept that up as I got younger. She took me to uh, homecoming and uh, some of the parades that the uh, Marching 100 would have out in California. So um, I really got a, a, a feel for, uh, for the 100 and really wanted to strive to be in it. So now that I had a chance to actually go and experience the life of the 100, I took that chance and I'm glad that I did. Greetings, I am Samuel Musler, a fourth year music education scholar from Oakland Park, Florida in Broward County. I am a tuba sousaphone player. I currently serve as band president for the March 100 as well as tuba section leader. Um, 
my experience from a camper's perspective, I was always inspired by the March 100, but actually seeing them and seeing how they interact on a day-to-day -day basis was on a whole nother level. It was just everything I had thought of, it, it was everything. And seeing how they practiced and performed and getting to being able to do it just like them, it just felt empowering. It felt great, honestly. Um, and the reason I decided to be a counselor is so I could give back in the same way that I was given when I was a camper because so much knowledge was dropped on me as a camper and I just, I want to give the same thing to the campers today because they deserve it. I deserved it when I was a camper and I want to make sure that the, cam the cam campers today get it as well. My name is Trenton Cameron. I currently live in Arizona and I go to Caneview High School. Um, being a military kid, I've always been moving around. I've lived in Japan, Alaska, and now Arizona. Uh, I've never really been around African Americans, especially academically. Um, so once my parents told me more about HBCUs, it really piqued my interest. And just recently, like within the past two years, I've been on HBCU tours, and one of them was actually FAMU. And just seeing like campus and hearing the history of it, it was very fascinating. And I found out about the March 100, so I definitely wanted to be a part of that. And um, yeah, I'm just hoping I could join FAMU March 100 one day. Hi, my name is Eric Perez. I come from San Antonio, Texas. The high school that I go to is Sam Houston High School, located on E. Houston Street. What allowed me to come to this band camp here at FAMU is the great experience that the Marching 100 has bring me through videos and their energetic performances. My experience here has been great. It has been founded by the greatest, like, let's say Noel. He taught me a lot of things for, for clarinet and that allowed me to enjoy more myself and play even better in my instrument. All right, it's day four of the Martin 100 Summer Band Camp. You know what I'm saying? We out here live, we just finished dancing team. Stuff like that, you know, we out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Ah, we out here. My name is Oscar Sheldon. I'm going from Cranbrook Middle School to Cranbrook High School in Michigan. And I chose to come to Florida A&M Band Camp because I wanted to improve my trombone skills since the high school I'm going to does not have a marching band. And in the camp, I learned a proper discipline for being in a marching band. I improved my tonal quality and can also play in higher octaves. And I also met a few people who are also from Michigan in the trombone section. Greetings, I'm Antonio Williams, an upcoming third year music education major from Waynesboro, Georgia. I was a camper here during 2019. And what I would say was that impacted me on coming here in the first place. I did not know where I wanted to go, but when I came to this FAMU band camp, then I decided, hey, this is the place for me, and I'm here now. As a counselor, I wanted to do the same thing for those kids. I wanted them to see FAMU in the light that I saw it, and I just wanted them to come here, have fun, and uh, eventually, maybe they will determine if FAMU was going to be the place for them. Hello, my name is Alvin Brown. I'm a fourth year music education student from Atlanta, Georgia. I play trumpet and my experience with the campers was probably one in a million, being able to experience different personalities and different ways of life, being able to put me on the spot to adjust and help out the kids, whether that was marching or just different aspects of playing.
is Lola Moose. I go to Barbara Goldman Senior High in Miami, Florida. And I decided to come to this band camp because I really am interested in this school and I wanted to see how things worked in the Flat Corp. And I think it was a good choice coming here to this band camp because I did learn a lot of new things, a lot of new techniques that I didn't know before. I know how things work around here now and it was a very, very good experience. Um, this week is definitely interesting. The first couple days, they're rough, but you just have to stick through long enough until everything clicks and then it's a breeze. It's really fun after like Wednesday. Hi, my name is Kyla Brown. I'm from Tampa, Florida. I am the dance captain at Spoto High School located in Riverview, Florida. And I attended the family band camp last year because my band director told me about it and he said that he thought it would be a great experience for me. And of course he was right. I came back this year because of my coach, Kiyomi. He's a very talented dancer, professional dancer at that, and he has just taught me a lot about technique and how my arms look and how to keep myself clean, and he taught me a lot that I can take back to my school and help them with as well. First off, first off, we took a nap on y'all first. Y'all started playing. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We took a nap on y'all, and then while we were asleep, we slept peacefully because we couldn't even hear y'all. We had our legs kicking while y'all were playing. Hey, Green Bay. I was on my phone. I was on my phone calling hey, somebody. Chase, Chase. I was on my phone. Hey, Chase, Kale, oh. come on, come, come right here. Hey. Green Man right here. No, hold listen, on. listen, listen. Oh. Now we got something to say, man. What y'all gotta say? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> G to the R, to the E, E, N, A, G to the R, bro. to the E, E, N, A, G to the R, to the E, E, N, G to the R, to the E, E, N. Hello everyone, my name is Ricky Tu, or Ricky Tu Brown. I go to Falls Church High School, which is all the way down in Virginia. We are the Falls Church Jaguars. And our marching band is actually a chorus style marching band. It's not really like a traditional style, like all the other schools, but it's more of a core style. I'm in the drum major at this program, and the reason why, I think this is a very, very unique and awesome program, because what it feels like is there's a parade, there's the bell of the bands, which is really, really fun, it gets you really, really amped up, and also the performance at the end shows all the hard work that we've done, shows how hard we work, how hot it is, how wet it was. It's so, it's, it's such like a mind-blowing experience. And also me being on the autism spectrum, I think it's really, very really unique being a drum major. But being in this band right here feels awesome because there's like everything is there like pretty much like even though there's a big, big band, there's, a, there's work we gotta do, but I promise you, it's all worth it at the end. It will be painful, it's gonna, it's gonna feel tough, but it will feel awesome, awesome because I just want you to know that at the end, it's totally worth it. So eventually, you should join us because even though that there'll be lots and lots of intensity, intensity is good for you, and also you will be a member of the Marching 100.